All right, here we have a set of VxRail V series uh, nodes. We have a cluster of four VxRail nodes. So let's just take a look at each of the nodes on their hardware specifications. Um, basically, we just want to see that there's a graphic card. And in this case, we have a M60, right? Each M60 card has two GPUs, so you could actually see them. So in every single server, that's where I have the GPU. All right, so let's just deploy the BitFusion server. Right, the BitFusion server is an OVF uh, file. I'm not going to connect it by URL, uh, but in a local context whereby I already download and place it inside my machine. So here you can see is a 2.2 version. All right, this is uh, as at the point of uh, this video. This is uh, what is available. So I'm just going to leave most of the thing as uh, default, as you can see, and of course, um, after which for the storage, I'm going to just uh, place it on the B send data store instead of uh, the local data stores. So we'll be doing some validations on the v OVF files, and you could see um, the summary here. Okay, so let's just move on. All right, here I'm just going to choose uh, the V send data store. And for network wise, you need to choose the first network that will be connected uh, to your BitFusion server. So in this case, that network will be either management uh, uh, with data. It can be also be uh, accessed by your client machine. Right. In this case, I'm just going to choose uh, my respective network. All right. So here, there's a few things that you need to provide. Uh, you need to have your FQDN. All right. So here, I'm just going to fill in my FQDN. Okay, so then the next one you need to get your GUID. So the GUID can be found at your URL. And you could see that this is the GUID number. All right, if I were to open another uh, vSphere client, you will see that the same GUID is actually been found here. So we need to copy this GUID starting after the colon. All right, and just paste it inside here. Next, we need a URL. So as you can see, the URL here to access your vCenter. And of course, the vCenter uh, login, the username. So here, I'm just going to log in as well, uh, placing my password. And then confirm the password. Next, we need to have the certificate thumbnail. So the certificate thumbnail can be found here. It's either secure or insecure, whether you're using self signed cert or you have already changed to your own respective certificates. So just go to the certificate, go to detail. All right here under the thumbnail, copy the whole context here. So I will paste this into a, a notepad plus plus. Uh, reason is because it's much easier to uh, set it up. So as you can see here, uh, very easily, I can just convert everything uh, into uppercase. So just to do note that although the hexadecimal is case sensitive, so you got to be very careful of that. Next, we're going to just uh, replace all, right, um, all the spaced okay, with a colon. And uh, we are done. All right. So com copy the whole format here and uh, place it inside here all right so you could see it's 38 so we need to just make sure that everything is filled up all the way to 38 so sometimes there's this uh weird behavior whereby yeah in the front there's a secret character just have to go go in front and clear it up so that you can get because the text view here is exact all right so here you will actually create a password this password is used to access the bitfusion server under the account name customer And then you are supposed to install the NVIDIA driver. If your BitFusion server is allowed to access internet, if not, uh, for me, uh, uh, I'm not doing it. So I've got to download it separately. All right. Next, we got to install um, by keying in all the IP addresses. Okay. Um, if you have MTU signs, you key it in. Uh, recommended is to have jumbo frame at least 4,000 and above. All right. And then fill in your gateway DNS. Um, 
your search domain and of course your NTP server. We need an NTP server to make sure that uh, all the times are in sync. So assuming that your Bitfusion server is on the first stick, which is connected to your management server, uh, management network whereby you're talking to your vCenter and your users would access it from the, the sec another separate network, then you can actually configure your network 2, network 3, up to 4 NICs, right, that the Bitfusion uh, server actually allows. So once that's all been done, just click Next. And you get a summary of what's been configured and then let's just click finished for the deployment so we will just wait for the whole thing to be completed and then we'll carry on with the next configuration Okay, so we have our Bitfusion server uh, deployed. We are not going to power on yet. So I'm just going to edit the settings here. And I'm going to show you one of the things that you need to configure on your physical servers as well. So first and foremost, uh, on the CPU portion, every single uh, GPU card, you will need to have at least four vCPU. In my case, I have only one uh, GPU card per server. So technically, I can do with four. All right. In terms of memory wise, um, you will need at least 1.5 times of the total uh, available memory. So my total GPU card that will have a 16 uh, gig of memory. So uh, doing a 1.5 times, I need at least about um, 24 gig. All right. And you got to re fully reserve um, the gas memory uh, as the fact that because when we got to add that PCIe device, which is the graphic card pass through, um, you will get an error prompt that if you did not reserve it. So in my case, you'll be able to see this. Uh, my graphic card is actually only one. And I'm just going to attach this and click uh, OK for this. And uh, secondly, we also, before I just click OK, I'm just going to advanced setting at, at the configuration parameters. If you just scroll down, we do have this thing called the PCIe pass through 64 bit MMIO size. So default is always at about uh, biggest at 256 uh, gig. You can actually downsize this. So what you will actually calculate will be two times the total amount of all the GPU memory add up and then round it up to the nearest power of two. That will be your total size to be configured here. All right, so I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm just going to click OK. So remember, just now I show you the PCI device, right? It could be blank. Why would it be blank if your default server did not um, configure the PCIe portion? So you go to the PCIe device. These are default blank, even if you have a GPU card. So for example, if I go to my fourth host, I did not configure this. So you got to prep your host for this, right? Um, so just click Configure Pass Through. Look for your graphic card. In my case, it's an NVIDIA card, and I know it's a G6. Uh, M60. You could also label them to uh, better recognize it. Okay, um, I'm just going to click OK. What it's going to do is going to prepare the card and make it available. So now my Bitfusion server will be able to be hosted on the fourth host as well. And um, now we are good to go before we even power it on uh, in case anything were to uh, screw up. Uh, it's good that we always do a snapshot. All right. So here I'm just going to before power on, All right? Um, VCPU memory PCIe configured. So remember just now during the deployment of this old VF, right? We didn't state uh, to download um, one of the NVIDIA drivers, which we will download it uh, separately, right? So I'm not going to power on this machine. So once this is powered on, uh, you will see some error. The error is actually that um, the driver is actually not installed. So we've got to install it uh, straight after when it's powered on and of course do a power reboot. So you will see that everything should be okay. The only thing that you're going to get the error is based on the driver.
Okay, now we are at the login prompt. Pressing enter, I actually get uh, to see the error message because the NVIDIA driver is not installed yet. That's fine. So let's just log in using the username, which is customer. And of course, the password that we have uh, configured previously. So just to show you that this is not connected to the internet, I'm just going to do a ping to Google. So let's do a check on the network configuration. Make sure it's correct. Uh, for my case, I actually redeploy the appliance, right? So that the network will reflect uh, correctly. Okay, now we need to install the NVIDIA driver. So first, let's open a browser to head to a NVIDIA website, to their driver download site. So here we'll choose Zeta ten, uh, Center te Tesla. Uh, I'm using an M60, so I'm going to do M class. So that will show up. We're going to install a Bitfusion server that's running on a Linux server. Here there are two download types, short leaf and long leaf. We're going to cho cho uh, choose the long leaf. Uh, that's for the stable versions. And of course, taking the latest versions and of course, and uh, we just search for it to download. So once it's completed, right? We're gonna copy it inside here just to consolidate everything together. So you can see that this is the old driver that I have. This is the new one. All right, um, the old driver was downloaded based on the installation guide guide. I guess we are supposed to use the newer one. So let's just transfer this using SCP. All right. Okay, so we have transferred two files inside there. I'm just going to delete the older one. So let's head back to the Bitfusion server and just do a check and uh, look at the command, um, the files mode. Right, so let's change mode to the file as well. So let's, why not let's just try out the command that um, in the installation guide. So this is based on the installation guide. All right. Seems that it's not working. So let's try uh, the normal method as well. Okay, since I, I had to stir up the full path, so let's just let it install. So I'm just going to leave the default. Seems we will not be managing this. So now let's just do a reboot of the server and make sure that there's no error. Okay, 
So we managed to get everything up and running and you don't see any error. That's because the NVIDIA driver is now installed completely. Everything the setup is nicely done. So we will head back um, to our vCenter. And okay, now we see the plugin is now registered after a while. You will see this blue bar. Let's just refresh the browser to make sure everything's intact. So what has changed means that the plugin is actually now available in the vCenter integra uh, and integrated into vCenter. So under the vSphere client, you will be able to see Bitfusion here. And uh, click on this, we'll wait for things to load. And here is where you can see all the information right, regarding the Bitfusion server that we just installed. And um, that's all for the installations and setup of the Bitfusion server.